Yosemite is a spectacular and diverse national park in California. It is located within a three-hour drive from San Francisco, San Jose, Sacramento, Fresno, and Reno, Nevada. It is very accessible and very popular. It is the fifth most visited national park, just behind Zion and edging out Yellowstone, which dropped to number six. There are multiple distinctive regions in Yosemite, but today we're just focusing on one, the crown jewel of Yosemite Valley. If you would, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon for notifications. If you like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up before you leave. I'm sure there's many people that visit Yosemite, and the only part of the park that they visit is Yosemite Valley. If you have limited time, then yes, the valley is the one thing that you want to see. But if you have time, plan your trip to take the drive along the Tioga Road, where you'll see the Ptolemyne Meadows, the Mariposa Grove with giant sequoias, and the Hetch Hatchy area. Lord willing, at some point, I'll do videos on each one of those areas. But again, today we're just focusing on Yosemite Valley and the top 10 sites to see. I will list the sites in the order as if you were driving through the valley. Most of the road is a one-way loop, so some of the sights are best seen on your way driving out of the valley. Bridal Vale Falls gets its name from the wind-blown water falling against the rocks, forming a white veil in the right conditions. El Capitan is the very predominant mountain on the left side of the valley. It is the captain of the valley as you drive in. The 3,000-foot vertical face is a favorite for rock climbers. Half Dome is the appropriately named mountain at the farthest point in the valley. It may be the single most photographed thing in Yosemite and included in many calendars. There is a trail that takes you to the top of the Half Dome, which I did with my family many years ago. The hike is long and strenuous, it's 17 miles round trip, and you climb almost 5,000 feet in elevation. We did it as an overnight trip, but I think the majority of people do this as a very long day hike. What makes this hike unique is the final stretch to the summit, which requires scaling the bald dome. The route would be impossible for people like myself without the aid of steel cables and wooden planks that allow you to pull yourself up and rest at each plank. Mirror Lake is the least known of my top 10 sites of Yosemite Valley. At the end of the road is a fairly easy two mile trail to the lake and view of Half Dome from the base of the mountain. Yosemite's namesake waterfall is actually two waterfalls, the Upper Yosemite Falls and the Lower Yosemite Falls. An easy stroll will take you to the base of the lower falls, or a strenuous hike will take you to the top of the upper falls. This next site is a view of the Yosemite Valley with the Merced River as a foreground. On the park map, it is referred to as the Valley View. 
and you get to it on your way out exiting the valley. It provides beautiful views of El Capitan and Bridal Veil Falls. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the righteous will walk in them, but wrongdoers will stumble in them. The last four sites of Yosemite Valley are from above. Exit Yosemite Valley and head south, taking the road to Glacier Point. I should mention that this road is closed in the winter, at the end of the road is Glacier Point with spectacular views of Yosemite Valley with Half Dome, Yosemite Falls across the valley, and El Capitan. Another viewpoint along the same road is Washburn Point. This provides a different vantage of Yosemite Valley with views of the final two sites, Vernal Falls and Nevada Falls. The trail to the summit of Half Dome has you hike from the valley floor up to Vernal and then to the top of Nevada Falls before heading to the summit of Half Dome. The hike to the falls is worthwhile if you can't make it all the way to the top of Half Dome. There you have it, my opinion of the top 10 sites of Yosemite Valley. If you have a different favorite spot of the valley, then include that in the comments below. Thanks for watching.